In case you haven't heard, California has decided to ban all gas-powered vehicles by 2035. And so we've had clients who contact us who've purchased electric vehicles and they wonder, does the law treat electric vehicles any differently than gas-powered vehicles uh, when it comes to the lemon law, if they end up being defective? And unfortunately, even though electric vehicles, battery-powered vehicles are, are more high-tech, they can still break down on you. So what's the answer to that? Before we get into that, a little bit about my background. I've been handling lemon law cases since all the way back in 2004, 18 years and, and counting at this point. And my firm and predecessor firms have handled thousands of lemon law cases. I'm currently with Amar Law Group and Katz and Amar. We're in eight states, including California, but also Arizona, Washington, Oregon, Utah, Nevada, Colorado, and Missouri. So if you live in any of those states and you are dealing with a lemon vehicle, whether it's electric or gas powered, please contact us. And that brings us to our answer. It makes no difference if you have an electric vehicle versus a gas powered vehicle in terms of your lemon law coverage. What matters for lemon law coverage is that your vehicle has to be a relatively new vehicle because uh, typically most lemon laws have time limits that are anywhere from one, let's say one to four years uh, from your original date of purchase. Uh, in California in particular, it's based on your warranty duration. In most other states though, the time limit is one to two years from the date of purchase and typically anywhere from 12 to 24,000 miles on the odometer. And so that's usually a shorter period than the length of your warranty. The warranty could be three years, 36,000 miles typically, or four years, 50,000 miles. Uh, the good news though, is even if you're timed out of the state lemon law, there's what's called a federal lemon law. And that lemon law is called the Magnus and Moss Warranty Act. And that is based on the entire duration of your warranty coverage. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, hey, uh, it's, it's an, an EV. Uh, these vehicles have all kinds of tax breaks and special beneficial regulations. The reason for that is because the government wants to promote electric vehicles uh, over time. The government wants us to transition from gas power to electric vehicles uh, to help the environment and also to lessen our dependence on foreign sources of oil. Oftentimes, unfortunately, uh, the places that we have to get oil from have repressive regimes that either attack other countries or um, ha have governments that are authoritarian and do not protect people's civil rights. In fact, oftentimes violate civil rights. So that's why we have all kinds of tax incentives to get electric vehicles. However, that doesn't mean that if you end up with a lemon that you shouldn't be legally protected because getting an incentive to purchase a product to promote purchasing a new type of vehicle doesn't mean that you should then have less rights if the vehicle turns out to be defective. So what's the threshold for that? Typically what we look for is at least three repairs for the same substantial defect. What that means is if the vehicle is stalling out or hesitating, uh, having engine problems, having brake problems, having shifting issues, etc., uh, something like that, as opposed to something more minor like a cup holder, uh, that typically would not qualify. So if you have a serious problem that's repaired three or more times, or if your vehicle's in the repair shop uh, for warranty repairs, for at least 25 or more days cumulative, and then it doesn't have to be the, the same warranty repairs. If you meet either of those thresholds, and again, the repairs have to be done under warranty, the time in the repair shop has to be under the original manufacturer's warranty. If you have that, then generally we believe that that qualifies as a lemon. So 
Whether you have an EV or a standard gas powered vehicle, or even if you have, it, 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 it's not common, but even if you get a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, if you have that many repairs for a substantial issue or that much time in the repair shop, please contact us for a free lemon line evaluation. Our number is 1-866-904-2627. That's 1-866-904-LEMON. And again, that's 2627. Please call us for a free lemon line evaluation. And we're not gonna waste your time. If the vehicle doesn't qualify, we'll let you know. If your vehicle does qualify, then it's likely that, that we would be able to assist you. And our three-step out-of-court process allows people typically to resolve their claims within two to four months. Uh, sometimes it can go a little bit longer if we're able to get you a buyback or a new vehicle replacement, but that's a quality problem. Also, uh, some motor vehicle companies, they're understaffed, they have a high volume of cases that could cause some delays, but, but typically the range is two to four months out of court. Your time investment is only about 20 to 30 minutes. That's mostly going over settlement offers, keeping us posted with what's going on with your vehicle, providing us any vehicle records that the other side might request to review if we don't already have those from you. We know people are busy, so we handle as much as possible uh, without contacting you. It's a pretty painless process. And I'd say 95% of our cases are resolved out of court under our quick, easy, and free lemonade three-step process. So if you are having defective vehicle issues, whether your vehicle is an EV or a gas-powered vehicle or a diesel, please contact us for your free Lemon Live valuation. And remember, if your car's not to par, call Lamar.